Hey guys, as the title hopefully implies, this is a build video for my 3D printed drill press. As it stands, it's a perfectly functional drill press. I'm still working on a slide table and some other bits and pieces, but this video is just for the basic drill press and table. To begin with, you will need a board on two planks, or a table, or something similar. This is because we will be bolting the drill press to the surface it's mounted on, and you need room for the nut that goes on that bolt. I'm sure if you're watching this, you can figure it out for what material you have on hand. With this set up, next decide where you want the press. Then the requirements are that the front of the base of the drill press is at least 9.5cm from the edge of the board. Apart from that, it's really whatever you want. With this in mind, mark where the 10mm hole should go, and drill a 10mm hole. Next, take a length of 10mm threaded rod and put a bolt on one end. The length of this rod depends on the thickness of the board that you are bolting it to. Insert that end into the top body of the drill press. Then, take this setup and put it onto the board. Use a bolt and a washer to tighten the whole setup down. Next, use the holes as guides, drill four holes in each corner of the base. I didn't take the body of the drill press off, I just drilled the holes, but it's up to you what you do. With these holes drilled, use four wood screws to further secure the body of the press. Next up, we will tackle the table. The table lines up nicely with the base of the press and is then screwed down. However, before doing this, use the printed table piece as a guide to drill the holes into the aluminium plate. I clamped them together and used a hand drill to make four 3mm holes. If you want to use the tube centering attachments, now is also a good time to put three 4mm threaded brass inserts into each side of the table support. A final step before screwing the table down is to put an M3 nut into each corner. With this done, you can put the table in place and screw it down. Following this, use three M3 bolts to secure the aluminium table to the 3D printed base. Next we will assemble the head. I'm using one in two pieces because I plan to upgrade it, but I've since changed plans. First, put a 4mm brass insert into one or both sides of the spindle. It's ambidextrous. Put a 10mm bearing in each end of the head. The spindle is a piece of 5mm diameter steel rod that I got from a printer. It has a flat ground onto one end. I didn't do this myself, it came like this from the printer, but you could probably achieve something like this with a file and some time. Put the chuck of your choice onto the other end of the rod and tighten the grub screws. You also need a spacer of some kind that fits over the 5mm rod, but has an outer diameter of no more than 8mm. Anyways, so put the spindle into the bearings and put the drive pulley on the flat end, tightening the 4mm grub screw. Put two 532nd brass rods into the holes on the body, place a spring on each and put the spindle assembly onto these. Next, put three more brass inserts into the top of the press body. Take the cap piece and place it over the brass rods, and use three M3 bolts to tighten it down. Finally, assemble the arm to lower the spindle. The length of the 4mm rods it rides on can be whatever you want. Longer rods is more leverage, but it may become flimsy after a point. Assemble the arm and screw it on. A 4mm bolt screws onto the body and a 3mm bolt into the spindle. This is because I plan to get a long enough 4mm bolt to go through the entire width of the body at some point, I'm just not right now. With this done, the press is now assembled. I run mine off a sewing machine motor I have mounted to the wall. The motor is non obtrusive when I'm not using the press. Obviously you can use whatever motor setup you feel like using, but the foot pedal of sewing machines is very intuitive to use. So there it is. I'm still working on some other fancy bits that will come in the future, but my printer broke, so I'm waiting on parts for that at the moment. Anyways, thanks as always for watching. Parts are linked in the description down below.